Hi guys, welcome to the Dub Turbo coaching and training program to make sure you guys get the most out of your software. So I'm, I'm going to assume you're new, you haven't made beats before, and this all looks like it's pretty complex to you. We're going to break it down for you in a bunch of smaller videos. You more intermediate and advanced guys, just try to scoop along and follow what you need to pick up so you understand where the basics are. It works like most other DAWs, but for those that haven't used one before, um, I'd like to just go over this quickly in this first video to show you the most important aspects of this. Up here is pretty self-explanatory, it's your BPM. Right now it's at 120, and if we turn our metronome on, which is right here, you'll get a tick. If I press play right now, you'll hear a tick at 120 BPM. Okay, it's over a blank canvas, nothing's in there. That just gives you sort of a metronome to follow and bob your head to to figure out how fast you want your beat. Right here are your most important tools. Your arrow, your pencil, your eraser. These other buttons don't worry about for now. And these are also self-explanatory. We'll go into them in a moment. However, for now, I'm going to make sure you understand that this pencil is really important. And then over here on the right side of the buttons, these are your bars. It might be hard to see, but right now it's at a bar count of two. And that's what we'll work with to start so you understand how to work all this. First thing I want you to do, click on your pencil tool. And on drum, a drum track, which is numbers one through four, which are changeable, but don't change them. Don't change nothing here yet. Just simply drag or drag. Uh, Grab your pencil tool and drag two bars by clicking, holding, and dragging your left mouse button. Just click, hold, and drag all the way through. You now have two bars to play with on a drum track. And what I want you to understand is on a drum track, once you lay something, click on the bars you just created. If you click edit, you will get our drum editor or our sampling sequencer or our little MPC lookalike, whatever you want to call it. It's very intuitive, but I want you to understand that it's pretty simple. From here to here, it's 10 layers of sounds. Those sounds are right here. Right here are all your different drum kits, and you can add more and import your own samples, which we'll go through in another video. So right here, we can just choose a quick, let's say R&B. Say we don't like it, choose R&B 2. Don't like it, punches. There's also kits here that aren't just drums, but also fills, effects, like this one here, punches. So a bunch of wicked samples that have all been customized just for Duck Turbo. Nothing here has been scooped or taken from Google or anything. We made all these in-house, altered them, affected them, stereo imaged them, so all the drums are wicked. And it'll, it'll be easy for you guys to build the beats and make them sound really professional right from the start because you're working with wicked samples. So here, what we'll do is the same thing. These three buttons or uh, tools are the most important of the screen. You can change your tempo here too. You can turn your metronome on or off. It's universal, so if you do click it on here, or if you change tempo here, let's see if we go down to what you heard there was me pressing the keyboard and it triggered our sound. So now I'll point that out right now. One through ten on your keyboard that you type on, okay, is so before you even lay anything down, you can kind of even turn your metronome on, let that play. One, two, three, four, just start. Once you figure out what you kind of want your beat to sound like, you can draw them in, or you can press record, play, and then record them with the keys on your keyboard. Um, just loop it once, let it go through once. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and here we go. Okay, stop it. If you notice anything's out of place, simply grab the arrow tool and move it over. If you don't like where something sits, it's easy to move. And if you want to erase anything, simply grab your eraser, erase. Pencil tool, draw back in. Okay, down here, say we want the hi-hats, right there is the label. Add a hi-hat if you want. There we eight. Very simple. Turn the metronome back off and... Okay, now what we'll do is change up this drum kit live. Say we want to see how this pattern sounds just with a different kit. Kind of sounds weird. Change that again. Sick, nice and deep and dirty. Drum and bass. Okay, let's go back to Dirty South. This one sounded nice. We'll close this up. We'll do the same thing on layer two. Okay, drag your and draw your pencil, draw in two bars by clicking, holding, and dragging. Let go, click back on your arrow tool, click on the bars, 
click edit. One thing I haven't showed you yet is this P. Before you even click edit, you can click P and it'll pull up this same kit source from here, here in a separate panel. So let's close that and this is what you'll get. So you can draw in your bars, click on it, then click P, click whatever you want in advance, and you already have your kit here. You can also change kits here. Okay, let's try it with this one. So again, we'll do this on the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Now we can click on the bars, click edit, and see what we just laid. There's what we just laid live using the keyboard we used. If anything's out of whack, again, simply just snap them into place if you know they're off. And now we have two layers of drums going over each other, which is really nice in Dub Turbo when you can change the volume of each here. So these 16 layers are all these 16 layers. Important to understand. Okay, so there's a quick two bar count. Lastly, I'm just gonna quickly show you this. Change here by holding, selecting, say we put this to four, actually, let's make it eight. Right now we have two bars, right? So these are two bars we can Simply holding down the shift on your keyboard, then you type on hold down shift, click hold and drag, click hold and drag, click hold and drag. So if something isn't looping for you properly, right off the hop on those first two bars or first one bar even, simply extend it. Other ways that you can get it to loop properly if there's a little bit of a gap is change just by one tempo piece. And that seems to sometimes make the, the loop snap into place properly. So here we have that same beat altered and dupli or sorry, duplicated four times. We'll alter one next. grab one of these guys on layer one, click edit, and here we can now erase some of this stuff, and I'm only affecting the two bars I selected, I'm not affecting everything. So here we can, on the last, we'll have a nice little build up before this drop, and then here what we'll do is we'll just erase the last few, oops, this one. Just erase these last few sounds so it's nothing but a nice boom. Here we go. Yeah, I've always been charismatic and tall, dated, dramatic, and bald. Double this man, I'm also wild, shows proof. Red as the ball, but I'm gathering all, so no one after your call. This puzzle drive to all the proofs. So there it is, nice and simple beat building. We'll go into the next video, which will talk about the keyboards. Peace.